Well, we're back and we're in Gatlinburg today. Why are we in Gatlinburg? Well, because the weather's just too nice outside not to be. But we want to start bringing you an area that is so special to me especially. I tell you what, it's an area that I grew up in. It's an area that I love. It's an area that just has so much meaning. And as there's so many new attractions going in all around Sevier County, it's important for us not to forget the heritage and not to lose that. So I told Christy, I'm feeling crafty today, yet I'm hungry. And she said, well, we can take care of all of that. And I said, yes, we can. Come along with us for the first of what we hope are gonna be many installments. And I'm gonna keep you in the loop, so to speak, right here at the Gatlinburg Arts and Crafts community. Come along with us. Here we start our journey out on the eight mile loop around the Arts and Crafts community in the Great Smokies. And of course, there's over a hundred different artisans that are part of this organization. That's the largest independent arts group in the United States. And, but we gotta get some food first. So we're gonna stop off at a little bit of a different place. This is something completely different. This is Bear Cub Cafe and Grill. Then you'll head straight to the back area of the shopping center, past the coffee shop and Doc Ike's old time photo, and you will run right in to the Bear Cub Cafe and Grill. Hello. Nice. How are you? Doing well. We've got this sweet little dining room back in the back. And then this is your main dining area with table seating. And they've got this cute little booth here in this little alcove. You can see the open kitchen area where you can watch them prepare. And their daughter actually made this pretty mural of the black bears. And you've also got a menu there, right on the wall. So we're waiting for our food. We're watching Greg and Felicia prepare it. And so, of course, um, while we wait, just to let you know that, of course, Arts and Crafts community has a special place for me. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that as we take you around. But now, this restaurant, this was a restaurant prior. Uh, my friend Donna Wilson used to run this as Ma's Kitchen uh, before she uh, decided to get out of the business. But Miss Ruth, my one of my favorite ladies at church, uh, she made the cakes for here and she helped serve. So it's a special place for me anyway. It is so good to see a place with that are taking allergies, dairy-free, vegan, all that stuff into account. And I'm telling you, I'm excited to try this. Look right. at that. We should bring it out the cauliflower and look here. Homemade ranch. That is dairy so free. Dairy yes. free homemade house made ranch. Dairy free, that's right. And this is the Buffalo cauliflower. And that it's deep fried cauliflower with a gluten free breading. Yes. And a buffalo sauce. Okay. Now here's the other great thing about the cauliflower, okay? This is not prepackaged. None of this, okay? All of this is, the cauliflower is literally hand cut here. The breading is done here. All of this, this is not something they're bringing in frozen. They are doing this. From scratch. From scratch, completely. Buffalo sauce, and then of course, this is vegan ranch. I'm very excited about this. And it's dairy this. free. It is dairy free, so. I'm so. kind of excited about that. Yes. You want you to go ahead since we're, since we're here. Okay, I'm gonna grab couple of this okay you want me to just drizzle some of that over yeah. the top let's drizzle that how's that let's do that you want to do that yeah okay so look there i drizzle a little bit over that look at that look at that oh very nice how's that look <laughs> i got a good piece right here oh it has great it texture looks really it smells very good yes it does here. but it has great texture i can tell that just from the 
just from the way the fork got into it, okay? You ready? I'm ready. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This smells really good. I'm kind of excited to try it. Is it spicy? It's hot. <laughs> hot as in temperature? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What kind of flavors are you tasting there? The buffalo there. The buffalo has a nice kick to it. Wow. I mean, that's, woo. But that ranch really just takes it down a notch and kind of balances it out, so it's very, very nice. But also, you know how cauliflower, when you fry it or when you do something to it, it kind of gets a little watery, it loses its texture yes. and all that. This is not that. I don't know how they do that. This is awesome. crispy, crunchy. Still has texture. Yeah, I'm excited for you to try this. All right. All right, my love. You so drizzle some I'm drizzling yourself. more ranch because <laughs> I'm a saucy ranch. girl. <laughs> saucy girl. You're my that looks really saucy, good. sassy pants. And I'm going to be a lady about it. <laughs> Are you going to cut into it? I'm cut into it. I want to see what it looks like when you cut into it. That's what I want to see. Show me the inside of that. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going to poke that little piece off. <laughs> look at that. It's just cauliflower. Yeah, it's but very nice. look how it holds its texture and its shape so well. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Yeah. What do you think about that? I've never had deep fried buffalo cauliflower, though I've seen it on like vegan and keto mm -hmm. websites and whatnot. You know, that's nice. That is. That is very nice. It really, really is. Going back in for seconds. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Good deal. So is that a thumbs up on the fried cauliflower? Oh, it's a you, fork twirl. It's a fork twirl. No, really. Yes, it is. A little bit spicy, but it's yeah. not, you know, it's not going to make you grab for the glass of milk or anything like that. It's, it's just kind of a nice kick. And it's got that vinegar base for the buffalo sauce and that dairy-free ranch? Yes. Seriously. Yeah, that's the bomb. You would never know. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Well, it's just coming with the main event. <laughs> it's the main event. Yes. This. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's what I'm yeah, talking about. That. Yes. All right. Thank oh, you, wow. ma'am. Wow. And then I see. All right. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, that look so at that. So good and healthy. Yes. Mine does not look healthy, but it's healthier than, <laughs> than if you went to Chick fil A or Absolutely. anywhere else. Absolutely. Anywhere else. else. Anywhere else. Here's the cashew cheese. Yes. Oh, I'm so Thank excited you, to try that. Thank you. For me, I got the gluten-free chicken tenders, french fries, and a gluten-free barbecue sauce. It's organic, too. And we're going to share the fried taters and onions, because we eat in the South, and that is a South thing, y'all. Peppers, too. And for me, it is the vegan stuffed bell pepper, steamed broccoli, We've got a little something to go on that steamed broccoli in just a minute. All right, honey, why don't you try those vegan stuffed peppers and the broccoli and the cashew cheese sauce? Yep, I'm actually going to dig into the oh, fried taters. Changing it up on me. I am. Fried taters, peppers, and onions. That's one of your favorite things. It's a southern thing. Yeah, it's, it's just a southern. nice portion too. It's not yeah, too that's much perfect for with the to carbs share. and whatnot. Yeah, but they look seasoned very well. I like that. <laughs> they smell really good. Mm. Mm. That would make my mom all proud. That's just good. And yeah, they're oh they're seasoned so well. They're seasoned really well. Now, I'm also steamed broccoli with yes. Cashew I cheese. lost 
the cashew That is cheese. a new thing for both of us, the cashew cheese. I have cheese. never had I this. I have always been curious about it. Yep. Uh, you thought about trying to make this one. Yes. And we have never done that. So our friend Deb is vegan. She likes to eat vegans. And so this, good stuff. Wow. I can tell you like it. Wow. That's different than anything you'll ever eat. And it's so good. Creamy. It's got a creamy consistency to it. I'm going back in. It looks just like you might get at a, a uh, Mexican restaurant like the cheese dip. It does. Does it sort yeah. of taste like that a little bit? No, no. Different. Completely different. I'm excited to try it. Mm. I'm excited to see you get into that pepper. Because mm -hmm. you love stuffed peppers and this is a different thing for you. This is kind of out of your box. With um, So what's in the stuffed peppers? This is a vegan uh, stuffed bell pepper. Now this has tomato, uh, lentils, brown rice, garlic, there's dill. This has a little bit of everything. The aromas going through the restaurant oh, yeah. are amazing. You can just smell the spices. I and mean, you can smell so that good. and it just smells amazing. I wish you had smell vision I will definitely try a bite of those when Yes, <laughs> yes. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes like heaven. I mean... Do you miss the meat? You don't. You don't miss the meat. As a matter of fact, it feels... Here's what's crazy about it. There's no meat in that. But with the brown rice and the lentils and everything, it it feels meaty. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Like, I don't know. It's almost well, like Well, with a, eating lower carb, we found options to, you know... Look at this. It's like Jedi mind trick. <laughs> <laughs> it feels meaty, but... Mm. Mm. And um, they said that they actually... This is all made right now. Mm -hmm. And he even broils the peppers right yes. now. And yes. Instead of having them that. ready to, to stuff, they nice are texture on the all outside. done right now. And you can even see kind of the broil yeah. marks there yeah. right on the pepper. So, I'm excited to see you get into the chicken tenders and fries here because those are no ordinary chicken tenders and fries. Alrighty. Okay, my love. Okay, I am gonna try the chicken tenders and fries. They are gluten-free. Um, they said that they use a rice flour base and they actually hand cut all, every tender by hand when ordered. Yes. And you can already see how that. moist that is inside. Glistening, juicy chicken. Yeah, absolutely. You can just tell it's really good. So I'm just going to try it by itself first. Okay. Mmm. Happy with that? <laughs> I am. That's yes. really nice flavor. You want to give it a tender Let's twirl? Try Let's try this. Uh, <laughs> barbecue that they've got here and she said it was organic I believe organic yeah mmm no that's very good like that if you are somebody who misses your breading because you're gluten-free mm -hmm. I would imagine that this would absolutely fit the bill do the trick for it you okay. Okay. I, I need you to try that cheese sauce I'm going to try the fries and the cheese sauce. <laughs> oh, you're going to dip the fries in the cheese mm -hmm. sauce? I'm curious about that. Okay. Fries are very crispy. Yeah. Um, they're, they're, I like a shoestring fry, and I haven't actually had fries in quite some time, but you can see that they're kind of crispy. And yes. Try that. Definitely have some kind of seasoning try on them. Try that. That's, that's going to blow your mind, I think, because it blew my mind a little bit. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Yo. It does have a nuttiness to it, doesn't it? But it's It just good. tastes like sharp, sharp cheese dip. Yes. To me. I can taste a little nuttiness in there. And those you fries are really cashew. great. Yeah. That's how I like a French fry. All right, so are you down with the cashew cheese sauce? I am down with it. Might even try to make some at home. Are you down with all of that? At some point. I am down with all of it. It's very good. Okay. And I bet the chicken is even good with this. 
dairy free ranch ranch that they make here mm. so good i got the five piece chicken yeah um i could have probably really done the, the three <laughs> because these tenders are good size tenders okay it's all definitely right. a thumbs up for me thumbs up it all is. right good deal good deal you don't even need the fork to twirl no i'll twirl the tender twirl, oh, you're gonna twirl the, the tender. tender there you go it's very good all right well let's eat so we have had a great meal and we wanted to sit down and talk with the owners here. This is Greg and Felicia Wiltshire, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, you have got to come in because this food is fantastic. Doing it from scratch, and I just want to say, guys, thank you all so much for having us up no, here. We Welcome to the channel. In. So now, um, so tell us a little bit about how you got started here in this location. We. Uh I came down working for another restaurant, one mm -hmm. from Northern Kentucky, okay. and I came in uh, to interview with another company, went to work with them briefly. Okay. Um, typical things when you're in management, sometimes you don't always see eye to eye. Yes. After 28 years of being in the restaurant industry, my thought was, you know what, if I'm going to stay here, we're going to do this for ourselves. Okay. And I am uh, a graduate of Echo Fair Culinary School out of Denver, Colorado. And I am certified as a plant-based culinary chef. Very cool. So uh, what you've seen on the menu, what you guys had, um, is the makings of where that, that, that's the makings of where all this came from. Okay, okay. So now we've got vegan options here. We've yes. got dairy-free and gluten-free. Correct. Okay, so so that's a passion of yours, is that right? Is it is, uh, not just of mine. Uh, Felicia is actually vegan. Yes. So we kind of combined um, the idea with the gluten-free, dairy-free with the vegan vegetarian options. Okay. And we have uh, probably more vegan and vegetarian options, as we've been told from some of our restaurant fellow restaurateurs, uh, probably more options than most of the restaurants in the area. That's awesome, that's awesome. So, so now what, uh, What's your best seller in here so far? Um, we would have to say it is probably one of our appetizers and, and definitely our deep fried cauliflower. Okay, yes. Uh, we, give folks, <laughs> we give folks that will come in or call us just to do an order of that for their lunch. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. All right, and so now, um, Felicia, you all were telling us about a special appetizer that you guys have in sometimes that you can't really keep in stock uh, how long uh, you don't keep it in stock that long what what was the appetizer that you all had mentioned it was the jackfruit egg rolls yes yes yes, yes. yes. now this is fresh jackfruit fresh yes. jackfruit we cut it and carve it up here we we uh, literally um, what I do is I actually pre soak it and then I will boil it just a little bit so that it'll shred up real easy. Yes. And then we take that, we roll that in our handmade wonton shells that are actually made right here in, in store. Uh, they're all gluten free. It's a dairy free product that we make right here. And then we deep fry that. Wow. Wow. It also either comes with yum yum sauce or you can dip it in our own chili yes. Thai sauce. Oh, okay. Well, now the chili Thai sauce, that sounds good too. So yes. I'm, all, I'm yeah. all about that. Now, you were explaining to me also that you've attained a certain certification for the restaurant. We have. Um, we are certified here with the National Celiac Association. Okay. And to my understanding and talking with all of our fellow restaurateurs that we've talked to throughout Sevier County, we are the only restaurant in Sevier County that is certified with them. Wow, wow. So if you've got allergies or you've got certain dietary needs, this is the place. Absolutely. Um, yes. We have had folks come in that are allergic to rosemary and they've ordered our stir fry. And what we do is if they will let us know when they order and Felicia being the head server does a great job of asking them if there's anything that they're allergic to, mm -hmm. she will let me know in the kitchen and I'm more than happy to recook anything I need to that, that may have any of those spices in it. If you're allergic to it, 
I'll take that spice out and be more than happy to recook it for you. Even on our menu, we have the allergens on there. It also will tell you right. if you're allergic to nuts or soy. Um, our black bean burgers, you know, they're all handmade here. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know. You're even obtaining chicken that's <laughs> Yes, all organic. Of our, well, even our chicken and even our pork that we use here is gluten free and it comes from a farm that is certified over towards the Crossville, Tennessee area. So it's it's not completely local, but it's still eastern Tennessee. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love hearing that too. So so uh, is there anything in addition that we need to know that you'd like to let viewers know about? We are open Monday through Saturday. The only day that we are closed is Sunday. Um, Monday through Friday from 11 to 6 and then on Saturday from 11 to 5. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, we have enjoyed a good meal and I know we're going to be back. And I know that uh, people in the Knoxville area are starting to take notice. They have. Um, the uh, vegan and vegetarian group in Knoxville um, has been great here recently, probably over the last three weeks. Uh, we've probably had 10, 12, 15 of them that have come in to eat. Okay. So uh, the word is getting out. We're here. We're probably three years ahead of the curve. Um, I think in the next three years, uh, we will not be the only restaurant of this caliber that's here in, in even Sevier County. I think there's more coming. Um, folks just need to understand this is just the way that the restaurant industry is going. And, uh, you know, it's, it's more about healthy eating. Um, you know, we do, there are times where I've got a smoker outside and we will do red meat and hot dogs like on weekends when we do live music. The hot dogs that we use are gluten free. Okay. And if I order it in time, I can actually get beef that is certified gluten free. So uh, we still stick to that theme of what our restaurant's all about, um, but we can do it on the weekends. I cannot do red meat behind the wall of my kitchen. I'm only allowed so much wheat back there and a lot of red meat carries a lot more wheat in it. Absolutely. So um, by our certification, we're allowed 10 parts per million. Our local health department said, hey, if you're going to certify, we're only going to let you do five parts per million. <laughs> and they will come in in red light when they come in. And I greatly appreciate that because that keeps us in check. And we know that if we're if we're obtaining their level, then we're obtaining our certification level. So, Absolutely. Uh, we greatly appreciate them doing that. And you also offer catering? We do. We offer catering both from an Italian side with our vegan and vegetarian Italian options or with our chicken strips. Um, and if somebody wanted it, we can even do a catering with our stir fry, which is probably one of our top Ooh. sellers. That's great with all the so, weddings and family reunions in the area absolutely. that come yes. to yes. the area. Yes. And so if that there's an option yep. like that. And if they've got a wedding and they don't, they can't cater it to their cabin or wherever it may be, if they will give me at least a two-day notice, uh, we actually shut the inside dining area down a couple of weeks ago for a 25-top party um, mm. that came into town. Uh, during the Jeep invasion, it was hard to find somewhere to, to go. They actually called us a couple days before and said, hey, we're really, we just have nowhere to go and there's 25 of us, can you help us out? Absolutely, we, we shut the inside dining down for a couple of hours. We allowed the entire family to come in here, they can dine together. The only thing we ask is they just order off the menu. We do not charge like some of the restaurants do just for them to walk through our door. We don't feel that's right. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Now, last thing, I noticed that Ruth, that you all uh, do offer delivery through DoorDash. Yes, we do. If they're in this area. Yes. Okay. So if you can't make it into the restaurant, but you're in this area, look them up on DoorDash because I tell you what, you're not going to find a better meal, especially vegan options on DoorDash. <laughs> That's awesome. So, guys, we greatly appreciate you having us in today. Appreciate you this guys coming awesome. so much. Thank this you. This has been awesome. So, well, that concludes it from here. And like I said, we can't wait to come back. When you're in Tennessee, if you throw a stick, you can hit a crick. That's right. And you can also find... There's Mentors and Crawdads in there. <laughs> the Bear Cub Cafe and Grill. Yes. So... What were your final thoughts on the Bear Cub? Final thoughts on Bear Cub? Wow. I mean, for one, vegan, dairy free, dairy free, flea, dairy free, gluten free, and just 
healthier choices. I mean, I've got to tell you, I'm a meat guy and I love stuffed peppers. But wow, I mean, a stuffed pepper that tastes like meat but doesn't have any meat in it, that was amazing. So overall, everything was just fantastic. Uh, the owners, uh, Greg and Felicia, they're awesome. Like I said, this is, uh, this is your place. Little mom and pop. Literally mom and pop, they have four kids. Hole in the wall. I call it hole in the wall, but it's just a little, little building out back here in the glades. That has been historically a, a little mom and pop restaurant for years. Absolutely. Just change hands and healthier options. Yep, so you need to come try this. Final thoughts on Bear Cub? I'm not gonna keep it a long time. I'm simply gonna say that for one thing, the portion sizes are really big. <laughs> yes. The prices are reasonable. The food is very good and he is clearly clearly a trained chef because mm -hmm. it was yep. delicious. Yes. Uh, chicken fingers were moist and tender. Fries, yes, they were frozen, but they were cooked beautifully. And let me talk about the cashew cheese. Yes. That is so good. So, so good. Everything was great and we really enjoyed it. There was nothing we didn't like. So whether you're on a special vegan, dairy-free or gluten-free diet or not, we definitely recommend coming in and trying some of the homemade from scratch. Specialties. Everything. Yes. At Bear Cub Cafe and Grill here in the Glades. Yes. Arts and Crafts Community in Gatlinburg. All right. Here we are at Sparky's Glass Blowing right here on Glades Road in the Arts and Crafts community. What are you make? What are you making today? Money, I hope. Money, I hope. <laughs> making an ornament like you see here. Oh, okay. We call it a patriotic ornament. That's a red, white, and blue fresh glass and an order of service ornament. Where are you guys traveling from? Sevierville, Tennessee. Oh. <laughs> We're local. Gotta get out of the big city. Where do you live over there at? Over uh, New Center School area. Yeah, yeah. I live out on the lake out there, Dustin. Oh, okay. How long have you been doing this? I got here about quarter after eight in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my stupid joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, our we're a YouTube channel. There you go. We spoke him out on Face Food and Fun, and he is the king of the dad joke, so you're in good company. All righty. You know how I got into it? How did you get into I it? I have a pizza <laughs> <laughs> Eating her up. Eating her up. What's the thing? When I blow into it, I don't blow steady at the puff. But the one area is hotter than the other, so it pushes out further. So that area be centered last, so my head retains that cools off a little bit and catch up with it with the rest of it. Oh, wow. How neat is that? That's beautiful. It's a good career for you, buddy. <laughs> you got her nervous now. He's, he's full of hot air, so it would work. You wouldn't need the torch? Yeah, you exactly. Exactly. That's she just told on me. Tell me. She just told on me. So really, Fargy, how long have you been here oh, in the Glade? Thirty-two years. I'm sorry, I said that. <laughs> thirty-two years. I've had no training. It's all self-taught. Thirty-two years. I remember years. when you were over in the covered bridge. Oh yes, yes. There for twelve years. Yeah. Wow. Did he know about it? <laughs> He's full of himself over here. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the flex that you put in the the mm -hmm. ornament there? Oh, okay. Flat. Yes. Wow. Oh, rich. <laughs> that is awesome to watch. But nothing's been working right today. Got a bunch of stuff I got to get done. Ain't nothing working out. <laughs> So how long does it take you to make an ornament like that? Six, seven minutes. Okay. That's not bad. 32 years of making. Yes. Okay. That's right. And it's done. Look at, Look at that. that. Nothing to it. Nothing to it, he says. Nothing to it after 32 years, right? If I can't make it for glass blow, I'm going to go to the street corner and get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Look at the beautiful stained glass pieces. All very beautiful. Look at that. Look at the cathedral. What a piece of art. You need a Eighth drawing garden, let me know. I'll fix you right up there, girl. <laughs> you just lay there. Why, he's funny. <laughs> My wife will be right back. I love it. It's $1,800. Right. And where's every here. penny? Look at the beauty of that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. Look at these ornaments. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, they're gorgeous. The hummingbird. It's like a hummingbird feeder ornament. Yes. Those they are. are beautiful. I don't even want to How about that? Look at the detail on those hummingbirds. Oh gosh, I love that. Here's some pumpkins for the fall season. Hand blown glass pumpkins. Gosh, he's so talented. Uh, I used to have a shop near Sparky when he was in a different location and would just go in and watch him. Here's a fall tree. Look at that. That's so pretty. Look at the leaves. Each little leaf is hand blown. That makes you think October right there. We're almost there, guys. Little lovebirds. Look at the beautiful blue. And this is the ornament Sparky was making oh, look. today. Look. And they are $14.95 each. Did you see the pickle ornament? We need a pickle. The legend of the pickle. Do you guys know about the legend of the pickle? Yes. Look at that. The legend of the pickle. He makes pickle ornaments. That is the cutest little pickle. Yes. So many nice things. Thank you very much. Look at the oil lamps, guys. How about that? The ladies. Those have got black bears on them. Yep. How neat is that? And the, there's some hummingbird. Oh, I like the purple. Oh, wow. So good. That's so pretty. Look at all the pretty ornaments. They're $14.95 for those. The beautiful crosses with a shroud. A mom class. Tiny ships. Tiny ships. And a pen, pen holder. holder. That is so cute. The pen holder is awesome. That is really, that's art right there. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, big boy. Buddy's the welcome dog. Yeah. Hey, buddy. He's a cute boy. Yeah. So what are you buying me? You know, my birthday is this month. Oh, wait. Our birthday is this month. Our birthday is this month, and we've got the pumpkin. I absolutely love that pumpkin. Yes. Yes. Love the pumpkin. It'll go pretty. It'll go pretty in our family room. Yes. Hey, buddy. Anywhere that has dogs is our kind of place. Buddy's a good this boy. Is buddy. He's a good boy. Yes. And now we're going to get a little treat at the Glade Soda Fountain. Yep. So we've done shopping and we've had lunch. How about a little sweet treat over here at the Glade Soda Fountain? And look, fall is definitely in the air. We've only got about nine days till the official start of fall, but look here, decorations galore, a jack-o'-lantern arch, all kinds of corn and scarecrows and pumpkins and mm, all, all kinds of good stuff beginning to feel like fall. Oh, look, I know that man. <laughs> Indeed, your man is here. So let's open the door go inside I love the creak of the old screen door as you walk in and then look here look at this counter oh man it really takes you back you've got this I don't know if it's like a 50s or 60s vibe or not real sure what it is but look at this checkerboard or checkered curtains even and then of course you've got old I call it the old uh, granny 
uh, light fixtures up top. And look, look at this jerk behind the counter. <laughs> no, she's not really a jerk. She was a sweetheart. But that's what they call them at the old soda fountains. They call them soda jerks. Look at this old cash register. I'm telling you what, that's just a piece of art right there. You've even got Coca-Cola signs everywhere. And that's even a Coca-Cola ceiling fan up there. Got some nice bar seating where you can just belly up, get you a milkshake or a malt. We're going to have something good here in just a minute. Here at the Wade Soda Fountain. And let's just say I'm about to shake things up. All right, my love. All right, I got a small chocolate malt. That is a small. Yes. I kind of wish small was smaller. Right. <laughs> but got a nice cherry. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Yes. Yummy, yummy. How is your malt? How is that? So I'm pretty picky about my chocolate malts. Yeah. And I've found very few places around here that do it right. Okay. This is a place that does it right. Yeah. Uh, it's chocolatey, which that's important with the chocolate malt. You have to know that it's chocolate. Yes. A lot of places it's weak, weak chocolate flavor. This yes. is chocolatey. And it has enough malt flavoring that you know you're having a malt and not a shake. Gotcha. It's, it's not too thick, not too thin. Yeah. And the whipped cream is fresh. So. All right. Two thumbs up on the chocolate malt from the Glade Soda Fountain. Yes. And starting to feel like fall around here, isn't it? Sure is. That's and I'm, right. I'm happy. That's my favorite time of year. Tis the season, right? That's right. Wash your shirt. Tis the season. So you're wrapping not only the fall, but you're doing it for your boy there, aren't That's you? That's right. The football. Yes. All right. We are sitting out here on a bench and enjoying these shakes. And I want you to tell me what you have there. What I have here <laughs> is... <laughs> dripping everywhere. Dripping everywhere on your pants. Too. It is uh, white chocolate peanut butter with whipped cream and cherry. I bet that's good. That's I'm gonna give it a shot. I think we've forgotten napkins. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, can you differentiate the white chocolate and the peanut butter? Um, yes but the peanut butter is definitely the more prevalent in there, which is actually what I wanted, so well, that is it works out. Well, that's an interesting combo. I bet that make a good coffee flavor. Well, too. I told you I was gonna shake things up. Baby, you always do. Well, that concludes day one in the arts and crafts community, but don't worry because we are gonna be back here showing you some of the different artists and their crafts and just different things in this community. The Great Smoky Arts and Crafts community, if you're coming to the Smokies, you just gotta come here. You're gonna find some of the most unique gifts to take home for yourself, your family, and your other loved ones. I promise it's not gonna disappoint. And I tell you, growing up in this area, the heritage is just something that we've got to preserve. And so I highly recommend this, this eight mile loop right outside of Gatlinburg. You're gonna love it. Right outside of downtown anyway. But for now, we love y'all. God bless y'all. And we can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.